What up, everybody? It's your boy, Captain Crypto, one third of the Whale Rocket team, bringing you today another topic to hit you over the head with as we go through this bear market. But is it, though? Who knows? We'll see. Only time will tell. But today I bring you a topic about trading psychology. All right. And I want to start with this chart below. Just as a quick brief, this is a bull market turning into a bear market, and you will quickly see exactly what I get into here. Now, before I begin, I want to advise everyone here that's listening. There's rarely an anything available for all of us that will allow you to learn about finance, emotion, fear, greed, risk management, and in crypto. This topic we'll speak on today will explain how all of these are qualities within crypto and entering this space. This doesn't include the further knowledge obtained from the technology that crypto is itself. So from decentralized finance to entertainment and NFTs, we've only just covered the surface thus far. All right. Trading psychology is the emotional component of an investor's decision making process, which may help explain why some decisions appear more rational than others. Trading psychology is characterized primarily as the influence of both Feed and Greer in a nutshell. Greed, greed drives decisions that appear to be too risky, whereas fear prevents you from making any moves to acquire any assets at all. This chart goes into detail of roughly 12 emotions that you will experience throughout the bear and bull market. And yes, just about all of them. I personally felt them after being in crypto from the beginning of 2021 and the roller coaster that it's been since. OK, so you look at this chart and you'll see these these 12 emotions. When the market is down, there's disbelief that it's ever going to come back. Then once a recovery happens, there's hope. And as you scroll through this chart, it goes from hope to optimism to strong conviction and belief to, oh, my God thrill and euphoria. I can't believe this. When we start retracing back down, you get this feeling of complacency and then followed by anxiety, you know, then then denial. Like, no, this can't be it. It's not over yet. Then then panic sets in. Then, of course, the capitulation drags us down even further, followed by anger, depression, disbelief. You can rename these adjectives all you want, but the reality of it is these are all real that take place when you are allowing emotions to drive those decisions. You know, crypto is extremely volatile. OK, in a perfect world, we make perfect choices. But in a real world, we make real choices. And I'm here to tell you the timing of your decisions can make or break your success in this space, both buying and selling. Uh, this is not the time where you should be buying the memes or shield projects from TikTok. OK. Dodge 2 is the next big meme coin. It will get bigger than Shiba INU and is better than Dogecoin. Dogecoin 2.0 has a 100 million coin supply, has risen 3,000% in a day before, and has the PO. Stop playing. You better get with Dogecoin 2.0 from the Island Boy. Yeah, stop playing with them, man. They got his Dogecoin 2.0, man. Island Boy is steady with y'all. No cap. No. That's those days are over primarily top fives that have been around forever, even though there's still a risk, right? Bitcoin, Ethereum, Cardano, XRP, these projects have been progressing and expanding big time. In my book, everything else is more risky, which is why every crypto influencer is gonna suggest you to do your own research, D-Y-O-R. When you do, okay, you will begin to see through the weeds and make investment decisions with less emotion and more foundation. You'll follow the projects and learn more from the developers and have more conviction from the community. OK, like th if the fundamentals of the project you choose haven't changed, nor should you or your will to invest in the project. So understand the trading psychology and, and, and that whole mindset will keep you in the game throughout all of this, regardless if you choose a top five, 10 or 50 asset. Uh, crypto asset that is. So you just follow these rules to prevent poor timing on your purchase and you will get wiser and you'll learn from your mistakes. And I can bet the mistakes that you will make will likely be 100% emotional if you've done your own research. So I'm going to quickly give you five ways to really get yourself ready and prepared mentally for this journey that you're taking. 
Get yourself in the right mindset. Understand what you're buying and be aware on when you buy in relation to the Bitcoin cycle. The next six months are the most prime time to buy in accordance to the history of this price action. Another chart right here. This is roughly 12 years of history where we don't go below the green line. Number two, have a great knowledge base. Do your research. Follow on Twitter, Instagram, join their Discord. A lot of crypto assets are all community driven, like ApeCoin. Right? Mostly all the projects that take off have a relatively large active community. Also look into the Google Trends to see how active people are with your project. Number three, remind yourself that you're trading real money. Regardless if the investment's 20 bucks or 20 grand, realize that what you expect may not happen. So only invest what you are prepared to not have. Okay, and don't bet the house, okay? Or do something emotional due to your fear of missing out. That's what we call FOMO, all right? Observe the habits of other successful traders. Like I've followed YouTubers religiously for the past year and a half. And I would suggest you follow at least three crypto YouTubers, just as my three crypto YouTubers suggest that you follow three crypto YouTubers. And practice at finally, practice, 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 okay? You'll need to train your emotions from taking over. This is going counterclockwise to the natural emotions you'll experience through this process. I mean, people should be screaming that crypto is dead when you buy, or the price shouldn't have recently pumped. And I guarantee you, there will be another opportunity to get in. So to recap, my insight to everyone listening in, watching or reading, is that most good decisions are made when you're doing the opposite of what you're feeling, particularly when these motions in this first chart arise. Warren Buffett famously quoted, be fearful when others are greedy and greedy when others are fearful, end quote. These are the moments of opportunity here. And since we don't have a crystal ball on the immediate action, it's uh, the immediate future, it's always best to buy the dip when we experience one. I personally choose to buy the DCA buy, okay, dollar cost average, and just buy a little bit at a time in the bear market when the price goes down. The point is your stomach should turn when you're buying that dip due to the discomfort you have to buy when others are scared. Just buy quality projects and do your own research. All that being said, click the like, click the subscribe, get on our Discord. We're giving you all this free information. Just understand what you do with it will make or break your success. Enjoy you guys. Take care. Out.